the girl comes in and I slip the cleavage in. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. My name is Seth and I like cosplay and ghost hunting. So for this video, since it's the month of October, I've been trying to release quite a few spooky Halloween fall related videos. Trying to go for three videos a week just for the month of October and then afterwards I'll dwindle it down. But I decided to make a video about my experience as a haunted house actor. Enjoy. <laughs> So for this video, I have just two stories in mind that I'm going to relate to you. They are kind of recent stories. That being said, I have been working in haunted houses for about 10 years now. I've done acting, directing, casting, uh, special effects, makeup, set design, uh, cross the board, <laughs> I've done quite a lot. And I'm still doing stuff with haunted houses to this day, but I'm not as active in it anymore. I'm turning that off, that's way too loud. I just had to turn off the AC because it's interrupting my video. Anyway, I was saying I'm not as active in haunted houses anymore, just because there's a lot more I want to do with my life. I'll participate and I'll do stuff with it, but otherwise, uh, there's there's just so much I want to do with my life. <laughs> it's been 10 years. So I'm gonna tell you two stories. The first story is going to be not as humorous and not as long as the other one. So we'll start with this one first, shall we? So I think this one takes place in um, 2018, I think. I don't remember exactly, but um, I was playing the monster under the bed in a room that was like an exorcism room with some of my friends. And so the group would come in and one of my friends would be like on the wall, there'd be a scene happening. And so the people would have to walk by the bed and I would lunge out and grab their ankles and make sound and everything. Um, I have kind of a funny picture someone took of me where I'm sticking my head out from underneath the bed. So if I can find that, I'll try to put it right here for you. Uh, if that image is right there, then uh, Hope you like it. Anyway, so for that, I wore these uh, yellow contacts. We're, they're not as bright as the ones I have now, and I wish I had the ones I had now back then, but I didn't. So, uh, so I was coming out grabbing ankles, and as you'd expect, I was stepped on a lot. I was kicked a lot, not on purpose. Granted, I'm on the floor by people's feet. It's gonna happen on accident, so I don't really blame anybody. Um, this particular instance, this this girl got so scared when I you know came out and grabbed her legs and making the sound. She got so scared she fell, and her knee went right into my eye, and I'm like I'm like in pain and I squint and I could feel my contact as she pulled her knee away. She took up the contact with it, and I think I felt it land on my face, and I don't. I don't want to mess up my contact or anything. And so I just like go back under the bed like this. I'm like scooting back under and I'm waiting until the group goes away. I'm hiding under there. And then the group is gone from the room and my friends come down and they're like, what happened? Are you okay? And I don't have contact solution with me. I don't have the contact cases for them. I don't have anything. So I have one chance to get this contact in my eye without a mirror and without dropping it on the disgusting haunted house floor or anything. And I guess it was pure determination. I got the contact back in, thankfully. And I was I was worried I was gonna have a black eye because that actually really hurt when her knee went into my eye. That hurt really bad. That sound is my cat messing with the litter box. So that story wasn't as interesting. So I guess now it's time for a funny one. So I don't exactly remember the year of this one, but it was a year when we were doing like this asylum theme and I had this off the wall idea to do this room and you know what? I'll just find that picture and I'll just, I'll just put it here where I decided to make this mask and to just paint the wall like this and to make it about teeth and I had that roller thing that like pop, you know, when you push it in your kid and it pop, pop, pop as you roll it. And I had that and I was like, I had my legs like crossed like this. So I, I would walk like this and I would like just make baby cr cry sounds. And I had this weird track. If I can find the track, I'll, 
I'll play it. <laughs> so that was an interesting thing. So we had this festival uh, near the haunt every year where people have like a bunch of booths, there's food, there's businesses, there's art. It's just like a fun little festival thing. And I acquired a bunch of these little silicone rubber fetuses. I had a bunch of them. I collected, I, I had a bunch of them. And I was working the booth for the haunt and then like a couple of these people come up and they're friends with my friend. So I didn't even know these people, but they were friends of a friend. So we're talking because my other friend's working at the booth. Yeah. And she's like, oh, I'm really excited to come through. And I'm like, oh, you're not gonna know it's me when you come through though, because I'm gonna have a mask on. And I had like black mesh and I had a really dark room with a red light. So I was like, you're not gonna know it's me. I may not know it's you, but I, you know, it should be fine. And I said, in order for you to tell that it's me, I will take one of these silicone babies and slip it in your cleavage. And she was like, yes, yes, please do that. So anyway, we're, we're in action, we're, we're haunting, it's open. And I had a lot of these little fetuses, so they were little surprise gifts to other people coming through. I just wanted to make sure I had a specific one to slip in that girl's cleavage. Uh, so yeah, people coming through got a little surprise in their pocket. If I could get like the back of like their hood right here, I would just kind of boop, slip it in there. So some people got a fun little surprise in my room. <laughs> I need a bit of my cider. So a group walks in. And I'm like, oh, it's her, she's here. Okay, awesome, I'm gonna let her know it's me. So I, in the middle of me crying and doing my creepy thing, I take it, I had like a strap where I had him strapped like ammo across my dress and I just boop, into her cleavage. And she looked at me like, and then left the room. And it was at that moment that I realized that wasn't her. That, that wasn't her. That was a stranger who I just slipped a fetal baby into the cleavage of. Well, uh, she didn't complain. She didn't say anything. I don't know what she thought about it. I don't know who she is. And then a couple groups later, the girl comes in and I slip the cleavage in. I slipped the, <laughs> I slipped the silicone baby into her cleavage and she just goes, yes. I wonder what that lady's doing now. I wonder if she kept it. I wonder how, if, if I have a picture of one of those fetal babies. Because the year after that, I did a, like a metamorphosis room based on the metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. And we found one of those babies. So we just nailed it to the wall. And if I can find that picture, I guess I'll put it here <laughs> so you can see. I have a lot of haunted house stories. Some of them are really quick to tell you. Some of them are a little bit longer and need more explanation. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, let me know uh, by give me a thumbs up or leave a comment below or something and I'll just make more videos on my experience working at haunted houses. I could probably go on and on. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you're having a lovely day or had a lovely day. And don't forget, stay spooky.